Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here in a shade video. I've got four days worth of beard growth, so let's get this bad boy started. I'm going to prep my face with Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Mentholated Ice Pre Shave Soap. Going with my usual suspect. The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Roswell Synthetic Brush, the StarCraft Roswell Synthetic Brush 24mm Knot. This going to be interesting here. Going to go with the Marvel Double Edge Safety Razor by Fine Accoutrements. And I'm trying something, but I hope it ain't a mistake, but we'll never, we won't know until we try it. And I'm going to put a feather blade in there. A fresh cork feather blade. But just in case something goes wrong or it gets ugly or the blade's too much, I got one of these bad boys on standby. Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack, the Made in India version. And the star of today's party to give my skin a break from the Tom's disaster of last Wednesday, I'm going to go with Soap Commander. Integrity, which is unscented. This is like a clean soap scent. I have not used this on camera ever before, but it's been a minute since I've used it. But I think I've had it for like almost six years now. And I'm going to finish it off with the unscented matching aftershave balm, which has a touch of menthol to it. So let's wet the face. Yet last week, after some discussion, uh, I pretty much tossed out the Thayer's Coconut Water Witch Hazel because it added to the burn of the Tobbs or Taylor Road Bond Street coconut. It added to the burn. It was like pouring gasoline, or it was like pouring gasoline open an open fire in terms of burn wise. And uh, it was just awful. Nice. And um, a special shout out to Lee Chavez. Thank you, buddy, for wishing my dad well and whatnot. And mentioned me on your YouTube channel. And a uh, special shout out to Michael Schultz. Thank you, buddy. You uh, made a real solid point, and I intend to keep it in the rotation. Uh, Michael Schultz says he's been watching my shaves, and he says, hey, don't mess up a good thing. Just don't go as long with uh, the Gillette Skin Guard. And uh, use rubbing alcohol instead of stropping it and dip it in there to get rid of the water uh, that might be on the blades, that are on the blades, especially when I rinse. So I'm going to keep it in the rotation. But I'm going to try DE's again. And with a DE and as much growth as I got, I figured the Marvel would be a good thing. Now, I'm trying fine accoutrements recommendation. They suggested putting a feather blade in there. Now, normally, When somebody suggests a feather blade, the cringing starts. Because while my beard gets mowed clean off with a feather blade, my skin does not like it. But then again, I got to thinking about the design of the Fine Accoutrous Marvel Safety Razor with the uh, oversized safety bars and the correct angle machined in it might be a good idea keyword being might we don't know yet we'll find out here in a second as soon as I get lathered up I also thought about doing daily shaves with a mild razor uh, don't know if my skin can handle that or not maybe about five years ago it could or Four or five years ago, yeah, but now, nah, I don't know about that.
six year old soap by the way and yes it has been bloomed since day one I think that'll do soap commander soap commander is kinda like Martin DeCondre only unlike Martin DeCondre uh, soap commander actually uh, is affordable but you're not going to use if you got as many soaps as I do Martin Condra even though it's pretty expensive around 40 bucks a pop give or take I think don't hold me to that price I think it really depends on whether or not it's on sale and who you get it from but uh, would be a good buy for me because I wouldn't use it all the time but since Soap Commander is still in business and I got so many of theirs I think I got 12 of their soaps I really don't need to get Soap Commander or Mike DeCounter excuse me wrong move on that one I always keep Soap Commander in my cave Yeah, then said it allows you to try aftershaves and dry down process without interfering the scents. And whatnot. Also, if you hunt like I used to, I don't do it now because my uh, some of my trainers kindly turn me off of it. And two, I'm really not all that able to do that kind of thing anymore. But yeah. It also prevents you from being, uh, from having a smell about you. And man, oh man, that mentholated ice paired with this stuff here is really good. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, and I do have. Some palm olive shave cream and some feather soft guards coming in from my Occam's razor. So that's going to be interesting. I think this is my last hope on a feather blade in general when it comes to the artist club style blades. Yogurt, anyone? Check that out. Now I do have to be careful. I do not want to do this right here check this out I don't need to do this that's for sure pretty gruesome huh <laughs> that's only a few weepers <laughs> I got that off of one of the groups that was hilarious Now Scott Rollins will be happy about this shave coming up because he was the one that sold me on this uh, fine accoutrements Marvel DE. I'm telling you, dude, you like it. He uh, tried telling me about the uh, one blade core and I heard him out and heard what he had to say on it, which is really cool. Uh, unfortunately for me, the one blade core in my beard, no good. It won't cut nothing. I watched uh, Don Younger's video on that and he and I pretty much agreed. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a good deal. His beard's probably tougher than mine and whatnot. And if it wouldn't cut his, I'm pretty sure it will not cut mine. And another problem I have with the one blade core, there's only one blade you can use and it's a feather sing wedge. Specifically made for that razor and the auto strop. You can also use the same blade in the Valet auto strop razor. 
that razor is like a DE that you can rehome. So very hard to home too. Now for the uh, fine accoutrements marble double inch safety razor feather blade in there. Heat it up. And I'll be darned. Way to go, Mr. Fine Accoutrements. All for those wondering, I did cork the blade twice. Very nice. Very nice. Got a little bump there. I felt it a minute ago. He got mowed off. Back. Yep, got my tune. Hang on, bad government. So far, that's pretty comfortable. Step your pencil. Okay, let's rinse off see what we have. Also got asked about the shave tape clip when I was going to join. Patience, my friends, patience. I'm going a lot longer between haircuts, but it ain't far off. I'm looking just fine the way I use. I got just enough scruff up there, and that's all that matters. I'm comfortable with that. And no, I'm not going to get called Bosley Medical or any of that bull crap. That, that's just a waste of time. Great defense for pass two. Uh, razor makers out there or manufacturers out there will tell you a good tip 
is just going to try it and see for yourself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And this time, fine accoutrements was spot on with the feather blade in here. Let's rinse off. See what we got. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Spot or two right in here, but that will clean up no time. Switch it over to cold. Actually, we'll keep it on hot. Actually, no, I'm not. better. Very, very, very nice. Pretty smooth, pretty slick, so I ain't complaining. Could be worse, a lot worse. But two passes with that one with a feather, pretty good. I'm wondering how my Occam's razor single edge is going to do. That's going to be interesting right there. Now for the Phoenix Earth and Accoutrements Allen Bark with a rubber band. If I could get it open. Really 
For those of you who are getting into wet shaving or this kind of shaving, even if it's still with a cartridge, get you one of these. Along with that Clubman Jumbo Styptic Pencil. It'll save you a lot of hassle. It'll make a world of difference. A little bit of burn there on my neck, but not too much. A little steam, if you will. That puppy off. Now to dry it off. Let it air dry overnight. That'll be it for the little block. Okay, now while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead. The old hands here. I'm gonna do a quick recap. I prepped my face with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Methylated Ice Pre-Shaped Soap. I went with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Starcraft Roswell Synthetic Brush 24mm Night. I went with the Fine Accoutrements Marvel Double Edge Safety Razor. It had a freshly corked feather blade in there. I run this through a wine bottle cork twice. And no, I don't drink, I just bought the corks. So I could cork these blades with. And it turned out to be a great pairing. And the star of today's party, no scent. Soap Commander Integrity, which is unscented. Just a clean soap smell. And I'm going to finish it off with the Soap Commander Integrity Balm, Aftershave Balm with Menthol. So let me get another cold water rinse in. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Now the next day, I'll probably have about, some of you will have equal two days worth of big run. The integrity after she boom. About out, need to get more of it. Mm. Very, 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 very nice. Will it beat my Gillette Skin Guard? No, but I'll take a good shave anyway. I can get it. I'm pretty slick. There's a few spots here and there, but I'm just going to say the heck with it and accept it. And I'll still keep the Skin Guard in the rotation, but I tell you what, if I keep getting shaves like the one I got today, Minus the little nick on the chin, which is done closed up. We're going to have some good times here. All right. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys Wednesday for a Shape of the Day video. Take care and God bless. Later.